Liquid metal on a 2080 Ti. Is it worth the risk? We're gonna find out. Also, I apologize for the next part where I have like three bags under my eyes. I did, I shot that part of the video at like 5 a.m. because I just couldn't sleep for some reason. Just ignore it, the information's still good. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Today we're gonna be testing to see if liquid metal does anything on GPUs. Um, the theory behind this one is when you have a shunt modded and power unlimited graphics card, uh, and you let's say you max out the voltage, uh, Turing is 1.093. If you use the XOC BIOS, I think you can get like 1.15 or something. But the idea is GPU, this like GPU architectures are, are made in like SM clusters. So as you increase the voltage, the uh, temperature of the die doesn't get hot in uh, proportion to it, like around itself. It'll have hot spots where those SMs are, right? So the nice thing about AMD cards is they have temperature sensor readouts on all those points. So all those hotspot points. So when you have an AMD card like a Vega or a um, Navi card, if you go into GPU Z and you go into this uh, sensors tab, you'll see a field that says uh, temperature hotspot or junction temperature. And that's the, that's, people will say online that that temperature is always about 20 degrees hotter than the rest of the die. That's, that's not true. That temperature tells you how good of a flat surface you have, how good of a mating, like how good the mating surface is to your cooler and how good your thermal application is. So when I was putting liquid metal on the Vega, I put it all together. It said my uh, my GPU temperature was 60, but my hotspot temperature was 100. So I know right away that I missed a spot. So then when I uh, took the uh, cooler back off, I noticed at the very edge of the G of the GPU, it wasn't like the liquid metal hadn't touched the cooler, so it wasn't making any contact at all. So there was a sensor there that was telling me, hey. It's not making proper contact. For some reason, NVIDIA doesn't have these sensors. So you can have really crappy contact with your cooler and your die, and it'll show like 50 degrees, but it won't boost for crap and you won't know why. You'll just think you have a dud card. Um, so the purpose of this video is uh, threefold, I think. We're gonna put liquid metal on the die, and I wanna see if the temperature difference can get us more clock speed. Right now, I can lock the core at 2140 or 2145, whatever that, that um, key is. And that's around 49 to 50 degrees Celsius while gaming. Uh, the memory goes to 1000, uh, plus 1000. I can actually bench it at 1200, but I can't play at 1200. It'll start glitching out and stuff. And the glitch is still even at 1050. So I want to. We're also going to be adding um, minus pad eight, the th the the thermal grizzly special thermal pads. So I'm going to be replacing all the thermal pads with that stuff as well. See if we can push the memory clock any higher with those things. If that makes a difference, I'm not really sure. And we're going to see if we can get the core higher to see if it gets rid of those hot spots. So let's get started and pull this thing apart. Bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire 
When putting the block back onto the uh, die and the, and the board, you don't want to wiggle it around ever. You want to place it right in the exact spot where it needs to be, and then don't shift it around and screw with the liquid metal. Um, that will mess up a lot of stuff. Just You want to just have it nice and flat. I almost want to apply a little bit more. There, just just a dab. Just in case. Seems a little thin. All right, good. Good. Okay. Right on top. Okay. I think I got it. Put it down. A screw and we go. You know what I'm gonna do just to just to confirm because I don't want to do this twice. I think the uh, minus pad eight pads are too thick, so they're like pushing the thing up. I'm gonna squeeze down these screws. Then I'm gonna take them back off again and see how the thermal the liquid metal applied. Because why not? Better safe than sorry, rather than pulling my whole loop out again after. It's like the old saying goes, measure twice, cut once. Get these nice and tight. Just want to make sure the thickness of the thermal pads didn't mess with the liquid metal all right 
That looks pretty tight. Huh. All right, let's pull it off and see what happens. It didn't even touch. Uh, that sucks. Well, there goes my plans out the window. I gotta tighten them down more. Huh. I wouldn't have thought the thickness of these would, um, the thickness of these would have, would make it so the block doesn't touch the die. God damn it. All right. I'm going to try and tighten it down harder. I'll be back. All right. I ended up just putting the, uh, the original thermal pads back on these, these, uh, thermal pad, these minus pad eights were just too thick. It wasn't even touching the die, but that was a good example of why you should always take it, put it on and take it off to make sure it's making contact because if I didn't do that and assembled my entire bloop, what a colossal waste of time that would have been. Um, all right, we're going to try this one more time again. We're going to close the lid. Make sure it makes pressure. All right, that looks much better already. It's way thinner. Yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work now. Apply some pressure, take it back off. Yep, we're, we're laughing. All right, okay, I'm gonna put this all back together now and uh, I'll be back with the conclusion in a sec. There we go, she's complete. I'm going to go put her back in the rig now and I'm going to go do some benchmarks and I will be back with the results. I hope, I hope it makes a difference. I guess we'll find out. I'll be back. Holy crap. Holy crap. It totally works. I don't know why more YouTubers don't, uh, I mean, I guess I, they probably don't suggest it because it's dangerous. Um, the, what do we get there? 2200 from 2140. So we gained 60 megahertz. We lost about 10 degrees on the core temp. So the, the 10 degrees wouldn't account for the extra 60 odd megahertz, right? I think what it was is the liquid metal really helps with those hot spots on the SMs. So you can actually clock that much more even at the same temperature just because it's dissipating the hot spots away, right? Um, I wish I could test it on a uh, XOC BIOS, but I can't because my, my 2080 Ti was the EVGA Black Edition one, and those ones are the non a chips so you can't actually flash higher power limit BIOSes on them long story short I didn't even know that was a thing and then till I, until I actually bought the card that I realized oh it's only clocking to 1700 and that's what made me shunt mod it in the first place because I was so pissed off that Nvidia actually segmented their cards that way they actually Nvidia segmented them so hard that they actually put different silicon in the base level cards to lock them down so you can't flash them, you know what I mean? But, 
some liquid metal here and some shunt mods here, and I got a 2200 megahertz 2080 Ti. So it's pretty good. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this like that. That's that's sick. Um, I got about 10 more FPS in Warzone because of that. That's massive. Just for a little bit of liquid metal. Who cares? Um, yeah, I, I kind of want to try other graphics cards now. When you can you can bet that like when the 3080 Ti comes out and I get one, water block, liquid metal, straight up. That that's going on there straight away. That's like Man, I did not expect to lose 10 degrees and increase 60 megahertz. It's it's basically for free. Um liquid metal is awesome, man. I've I don't know why people don't use that shit on everything. Uh Frank's hot sauce. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Um, if you liked the video, please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. If you could, uh, hit that sub button. Hopefully today was the day I earned your subscription. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Talk to you later.